I'm going to whisper still. Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Popcat. Marvel movies fell off really hard. Little Z. I haven't seen Ant-Man, uh, the new one yet, but I like the girl actor in it because she's from the Pokemon Detective Pop movie. One. I just learned that a female cat is called a queen. Really? Yeah. I think Marvel movies were never on. Let's talk. And the battle begins. Ding, ding, ding. Ooh, that music's getting me like Civil War vibes. Everything's heating up. <laughs> Civil War. I think Marvel movies used to be really good. Oh, really? Is that okay. just because you were younger? And oh, then they were like, cooler? Young. It was just... I was like mid-20s yeah. still. Oh, okay. I, don't, I just haven't watched any of them, but yeah. Mm. Mm. Not a great conversation topic. I was just trying to think of something. And I saw the Infinity Gauntlet up there, the Lego Infinity Gauntlet. Oh. And I was like, that was a good time. And now it's not. They took advice from Thanos and made half their movies just shit. Yeah. Didn't half the characters die? I yeah. saw one and they all died at the yeah, end. Yeah, they all came back. Oh, Spoiler. Oh, mate. No, not. Uh, it's a whole thing. Call that a narrative loop. Yeah. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Like two of them died for good. It was all a dream. The stakes get a bit confusing when the scale is a bit confusing. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. It's like when people start coming back to life and they have alternate universes and stuff, it's like, well, what even matters anymore? Yeah. Like no one, and no one's thinking of like the half of a colony of ants gets wiped away. Did they get brought back? True. Probably not. Would have caused a lot of problems. Wait. Does okay, all do you, of do you living know Earth get wiped? Half of all living creatures. I don't know if it's any creatures. Yeah. yeah half all living, living creatures got killed. And then they all. Wait. What the about universe? the white rhino then? Oh, did he one? just like, yeah, did he get cut in half? Yeah. <laughs> the white rhino. I think that's there's only that, one. Yeah, asking the real questions, actually, Jordan. What did happen well, to the What about, like, rhino? the forests? Nah, they don't count. Was it animals or sentient nah, things? plants aren't real because then what would we eat? Like, if, if vegetarians yeah, can't if eat plants because they're sentient, then, like, Oh, fuck. I didn't realize it was sentient. I thought you said living things. Like, do I need to feel bad for chopping a capsicum now? But then what are you going to do? Just be like, oh, why am I here? And then just kill yourself? I think they were missing the scene where Thanos just really thinks about it. He's like, do I really <laughs> want to do this? He's well, like, I've got the whiteboard I pros and cons. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made me invested in the situation. Yeah, and he's like considering ecological collapse and stuff yeah, and yeah. overpopulation. He's like, mm, let me work this one out. He's got a white rhino <laughs> picture on his wall. <laughs> he's crying. And then he's like, pro, my ex Stacy might get wiped yeah. away. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Um, Shorter lines at Starbucks. Ooh. Pro. Ooh. Thanos in line at Starbucks. Yeah, you didn't wipe out half the buildings. Less traffic. Pro. True. Once you get all the empty cars off the road with skeletons in them, little piles of oh, ash. That would have caused a whole bunch of mishaps. It's Did one of those things where it's like, wow, I can understand his motivation. And then you think about it for maybe 10 more seconds. You're like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, because as well, right, you do the snap half of all pilots in the world die, but then everyone Ooh. on the plane dies. So you're on a plane, half the people get snapped away and you're like, oh, I'm one of the lucky ones. And Car crashes yeah. out the large room. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It would have been quite bad. I don't think they really fleshed that out. But anyway. See, that seems more interesting to me than watching like Spider-Man be like, no, Tony. Yeah, she cut to the pilot. <laughs> Is it the other way around? Yeah. And they, they gloss over it at the start of the next movie. At the start of the next Spider-Man, they do like a five-minute recap. Like, this is what it was like after everyone got like snapped yeah. away and came back. And it was like people would leave and then their brother's now older than him. Like, the, your brother's older than you because five years have passed. Oh, that. but they came back in no time They passed. came back in five years later being like, what happened? And then like people yeah. who were in the same year at school are now like five years older. It's really funny. Right. And then, yeah, they do about a three minute montage of that. And they're like, all right, Spider-Man. That time. should have been a whole movie. Yeah. That sounds far more interesting to and me. They like reappeared where they were when the snap happened. That's good. And it was like, you know, like a marching band appearing during another event in the basketball court. Surely someone would have appeared inside someone else and made some just thinking disgusting that. mutant mm. disfigured yeah, thing. Yeah, like someone's moved out of the house five years later, they come back and they're, ah! yeah, like <laughs> pops up inside them. It's just the wrong you house. Are, you appear in your bedroom and your wife has gotten with someone else <laughs> since then and you True. just appear and they're having five sex years. in front of you and you're now the cuck to your wife who didn't get take snapped away. Take me back, take me back. <laughs> your best friend friend appears on your bed naked thrusting there's yeah, no one exactly. there anymore. and he's like oh <laughs> this seems more interesting to yeah, me what if you were having sex and they turned to ash you're and like we, yeah imagine there's you know there's one guy in high school that was about to lose his virginity and he's like oh man <laughs> like, <laughs> she just fucking disappears he was blue balled for five years 
I feel like, yeah, yeah that's so funny. What a, what a concept. This, this would have been a great skit for you maybe when the movie came out. Yeah, like, I literally, you know, 10 years this is what I'm going to think about for five sketches. Years ago. It's always funny Some relevant. Stuff. It's yeah. going to be topical. Topical. Ooh. What's topical at the moment, movie, like media-wise, TV movies? <laughs> well, the Marvel movies are dying. Oh, cocaine, bear. Oh, cocaine bear. Cocaine bear. What the you hell is that? Other types of drug. You should do marijuana bear. <laughs> well, <laughs> I haven't wait, seen the movie. White bear. You yeah. could do marijuana. marijuana. Well, it doesn't really, it's just funny because it's like other types of drugs on a bear because they're like, this bear it's crazy. It's killing yeah. people. It's like marijuana bear. It's just kicking its feet up like eating Doritos. Wait, what is this movie? They gave cocaine to a bear? Yeah. No, and it the, killed a people. A bear finds a massive stash of cocaine, like a whole bunch of bricks, snorts a bunch of it, and then goes on like a bit of a rampage. Is this a popular movie? Yeah, it's yes. come out. And they like, had really good advertising. I've heard of it. So that's wow. how it's been like laughed yeah. at. I think it's like well. a um, piranha Sharknado. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like an intentionally silly thriller. That does sound pretty funny. I've heard it's shit. Just for anyone that <laughs> wanted to go see it, I've not heard good I'm not, things. I'm not shocked. I mean, these things yeah, isn't are that yeah. kind of what you're expecting? Yeah. yeah, it's definitely. You don't walk out of Piranha 3D being like, that 3D, man. Everyone's going to get that. <laughs> Should we keep on the movie topic? Peter and I have got a competition. Yeah. We've got two movies. Ooh. We both have a movie each, and you guys have to invest in one. It's a bit of Shark Tank, but it's... Wait, so usually in Shark Tank, if the, all the products are shit, they don't have to invest. No, you have to invest. Okay, so oh, I've got a billion one. dollars that will disappear if I don't put I'm, it into I'm this movie. I'm a little yeah. bit worried about this one. Yeah, well, because my do you, movie, it's a do you want to start? Concept. Yeah, I'll start, because yeah. then there's no expectation, and then yours can be good. Mine is not good. Because it's it's something one of the things where you're lying in bed, you're like... Oh, that'd be interesting. And then you haven't thought through any of it. That's so. exactly what mine is. I just look through my notes before the podcast every time. Oh, now. Yeah, I just right. wrote it down. Yeah. Okay. Picture this. Should we close our eyes? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Mine I'm really going like we, to. I feel like we need the trailer music, but we keep getting copyrighted. There is, there is a multiverse <laughs> and there's an unlimited number of universes <laughs> and everything oh, that could ever happen has happened in one of these universes. What you experience... Shoo, sorry. These are all possible. And then... <laughs> Ass, uh, and then in the future, they find a way to go back in time to try and make the universe there from the real one because Ass, like the only one, uh, the only one, and so Ass, Ass, the options can happen. I've gone cross eyed. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that don't happen get snuffed out of existence, right? And they're scared that's going to happen to them. So they send people back in time from different multiverses to try and make things happen. Whoa. Why and do they every get time, out of existence? Because like it's like the infinite possibilities converge on what actually happens based on the decisions oh, you make. Yeah. Yep. And so every time you're considering something, it's two possible universes having yep. a war mm-hmm. to change your mind about things. Right. So like every oh. every person you've ever met is a plant or influenced by these future people. And they're like trying to subtly imply things to you. Feels a bit and Truman it, Show, wow. bit uh, don't a, look up. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's a bit. And so there's these. It, it follows maybe like two different factions, yep. two different universes yep. coming back, and they're trying to influence someone's life to make decisions to make theirs the right thing. Right. Yeah. Except that person has no idea this is happening around them. Okay, the influencer, the person that's trying to influence. Who's your dream cast? Jim Carrey. Perfect. Oh. Because he's just like. Because he's, he's the Truman, like the Truman Show. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, he's got really good at that whole like I don't really understand what's going on around me, like working things out from the Truman Show. You should call it the Trumaverse. True, Ma- man. Verse. Trumaverse. Um, I I like this. I like this a lot. It's quite confusing. I'm a bit so confused. what's what's a method that um someone would send back? So so I'm trying to decide what I should do with my life. I either become a firefighter. Or I become a scientist. All right, like- so the, the firefighter universe goes back, lights your house on fire when you're three, mm. and then someone <sighs> saves you, and you're like, wow, that guy's a hero. Yeah. Except okay. you never find out. And then the scientist, and they're having like fights over it. And but so then the like- scientist one like uh, puts microscopes on special, so my dad yeah. gets me one for Christmas, yeah. so I get into oh, microscopes. A bit of closing doors sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's like Terminator, how the guy comes back in time to try and change the future. Whoa. Except there's it's like, like people just like it's like this massive war, and then someone just walks and like spills a coffee on you. They're like, "Yes, I'm winning it yeah. for our side." <laughs> yeah, and they try, and there must be some kind of universe rule where someone, if someone finds out they're trying to influence you, you automatically lose or something. Whoa! So they have to be subtle. They can't come down and say, "Hey, do this." They have to be subtle because everyone's always like, "What's that all?" No, about? it's like you just explode. It's like um when you time travel, and if you see yourself, you just both die. Right? Because oh, yeah, that happens. Yeah. You can't try and influence it. Yeah. Directly. Yeah, you have no, you to can't do get it. caught in divorce. Yeah, you have to do it in a roundabout way. Or you, you 
you die. That explodes. Yeah. Do you have Control your head around this deleted. one, Jordan? Um, so there's one real universe. Is that what you're saying? In, in, it's in going the future. To oh, at in the, the end future. of all the wars. Like oh, my if you, gosh. The version of you that gets up and leaves this room creates a different universe, but you're making the one where you sit down. All the right. real universe. All right. Yeah, you got to... Yeah, okay. It's going to be hard to beat. Jackson, what do you people have? People like that in movies, like Inception. They're like, it's confusing. And then they're like, oh, that was cool. Better yeah, rewatch that. have an amb- ambiguous ending. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just could deliberately make it too confusing. And then people I love are that like, that's in your pitch. It's an ambiguous ending, guys. <laughs> no, it's, nobody's going to get it. They're going to leave the theatre and pretend to their friends like they got yeah, it. Yeah. But nobody did. Free advertising. Know. Yeah. YouTube analysis videos. Exactly. Free. Okay, so scientists uh, are studying. Wait, what's the ambiguous ending? I don't fucking well, know. No, it's that I like. okay, I it doesn't thought, matter. I thought you were... It's like when you say like the villain is both good and bad. No, it's like a decision that you don't know what they're going to the make. The guy has right? a firefighter hat and a microscope in his hands and he's like looking between the two oh, and then it cuts oh. to black. No, it should be like a decision. That yeah. is a decision. That sounds like a decision. He's looking between the two. Oh, okay. And then he just goes and does something else. And yeah. then there's like a third universe that's just like, yeah, and they're winning the whole time. Okay. Yeah. So like, not he, ambiguous at all. It's just <laughs> twist ending. Jackson, what's I'm your confused by <laughs> movie? Yeah, okay. Let's go. I'm sort Let's of a bit guess. silly, silly, a bit more silly. So scientists are like doing research throughout the space station. You picture that, mm-hmm. and the guy goes, "What? Oh, I can hear a transmission. Hold on, hold on. Shh, everyone, be quiet." And then he hears, "Earth, you've just been voted out of the solar system. You have two years to evacuate your planet." <laughs> And they're all like, what? What are we going to do? And they're trying to tell people, but no one's believing them. Do and they find out who else was the participants? Is it like it's each All the other planets are like, guys, you guys are racist, you're sexist, so it's you're like, out of here. It's like the Milky Way's got talent. Yeah, exactly. And they <laughs> voted them out. Earth is just not cutting it now. So we're out of the solar system. That means no more sun, which I don't know if you guys know much about science. Oh, it's and important. last season it was Pluto. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I wrote down, like Pluto. Oh, so okay. everyone's getting voted out one by one. I love how it's like, nothing's happening on Mars, but we're fucking up Earth so bad yeah, that we get kicked. They're out. Like, yeah. So it's all well, about the scientists. Like, put a big jet on the Earth and push us yeah, away. Yeah, they're going to get rid of us, like move us somehow. Push us out oh, of orbit. I thought we had to move ourselves. No, they're like, you need to evacuate your planet, find somewhere else. Yeah. But people don't really believe in it. There's a bit of, you know, political science. A bit of like, sort don't of going, look up type yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. Movie. Very similar. Very similar sort of movies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mine, it would be like just trying to convince people it's time to go. We've got to get out of Earth. And everyone's like, nothing's happening. Like, but do we find out who good. other other voters are? We, we assume it's the other planets and some scientists but are trying to get voted? definitive information. The other planets. So, the aliens. Oh, so it's Survivor. Yeah, it's like basically Survivor and Mars is like, survivor. see you later. Give me uh, just a quick explanation on how Mercury casts a vote. Well, we don't know. We, that's why put, this is what people are saying they're like how have oh, we been voted out okay. oh Zach's gonna be on the so side I'm is a, that, deni- a, I'm a yeah. climate you're like I yeah. don't think the earth's getting voted out because where are the Stop aliens being silly and the yeah. guys are like I heard it the aliens are telling me yeah, we're I out of here I think this one guy's fucking clinically insane I think it's insane. a prank dude someone just said it to him on the radio no I one could, would believe that I could that. literally tell everyone this right now like oh, I got a transmission oh, yeah exactly the radio yeah, get put in hospital. something took over so it's kind of a, you're following this guy and he's trying to convince people. His wife doesn't believe him. He's and trying it ends to be crazy with him in a straight jacket, looking out the window as the sun's getting smaller. <laughs> he's like, and he's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. That would so be a terrifying yeah. concept, actually. You get some info and no one, no one's listening it. to. You. Yeah. So that's my movie idea. Yeah, it's like yeah, but the- in most situations like that, that person's insane. Yeah, unless they're not. Information information less than not. From, that's why yeah. it's crazy. It's a bit of Joker sort of stuff there, where it's like you know mental health and what's the go. And would you do that if you were an alien, just to troll? You like you just get it's in. It's pretty so, funny. You get in one person's head and you just say you're gonna do. You, you have your planet's been voted <laughs> out. <laughs> have you guys seen the the plate thing we've sent to the aliens? Yes, I have. Do you know what I'm ages talking about? Ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 Does, Does it like, say like, like it's we're friendly? Or? It's got like it hundreds of pictures. It has like instructions that they think because you can't use language and it's kind of hard to describe anything. Yeah. So it has like a picture of like what a human male looks like and a human female looks like. Yeah. And it's got kind of like. An indicator saying we're on the third planet from the sun with like a big circle Whoa. and then three. Th- it's like trying to show graphically something about humans. I feel like I've seen this. And it's pretty funny though, because it's just like, dude, we uh, people talk about how it's bad to send unsolicited dick pics. We just send nudes to the aliens on first <laughs> communication. Imagine they just block us. Yeah, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, also, we don't even trust like sending China our info because <laughs> it's like maybe they're going to attack us. And then we're sending in into- Hey, aliens! Third planet from the sun, by the way. <laughs> they're like, they're going to kick our ass. I they, they're looking at it. They're like, oh, I can't tell how big these like human males are. They could be as tall as skyscrapers. Exactly. Like, True. And they're like massive swamp frog monsters.
monsters and they're like, oh, how do, how big is this human male? You better stay away from them. They <laughs> it, look scary. It's pretty funny. It's, it's a bit of plate stuff in my movie almost. That yeah. was in ages ago, right? Uh, yeah. They put that on one of their like probes that's meant to leave the solar system or something. Wow. Wait, you guys have to invest in a movie. Sorry to distract from the plate. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. So you've got, what's your movie called? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. Mine's the so Trumaverse. The Trumaverse. Oh, well, Zach's invested. <laughs> what's mine I'll called? The licensing for that one. Jordan, licensing what's pending. mine called? Seeing as Zach came up with Peter's title. Yours is called, um, oh, Get Out's already a movie, isn't it? Yeah. Earth, yeah. Earth You're Next. Um, see You Later, Earth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the name. I, I like that's it. That's fun. That's fun. Um, what if you... <sighs> oh, and my person that's cast as the crazy person is Nathan Fielder. He's got the information from God. That's a that's a and he's trying to tell people. Big draw, Peter. Can you give me any? He's got Jim Carrey. It's a pretty big draw. I'm going with See You Later, Earth. I like the psychological. I think I was going to go with Trumaverse. Wow. wow. All right. Put below which one you like better. We have split it here because you don't usually have two people voting on something. <laughs> you don't usually have two amazing movies like this as well. Split fifty fifty. So evenly. Good. So next week you two have to come with movies. Oh, great. I don't think this is a permanent segment. Oh, could be. <laughs> people are liking it. Uh, people are liking uh, it. We will. We will. Um, can we have the Zeus? Or yeah, is it too early for the Zeus? Something Jordan told me did remind me of... Something Jordan said reminded me of the Zeus. Which is, some for those that don't know, the Zach News. And we're going to do the it's theme song right now. <laughs> we got some Zeus in the house. Where's the Zeus? Coming at you live from the Underdog Studio. <laughs> Cut that out. Zeus. You're alive, Zeus. sir. You're alive. Zeus. You're alive. 5 p.m. Zeus. 3, Hello. 2, 1, go. Hello, my name is Little Z, a.k.a. Zach <laughs> Trahan. And today we have the Zeus coming at you first. Our biggest story in the last since the last two weeks of the podcast. <laughs> Uh, TikTok is on trial in the US. The Congress are asking them how much data is getting sent to China. And the CEO is uh, answering questions. <laughs> and Pause. Yeah. Have you guys seen this? Have you I've, I've seen, seen a tiny no. bit no, of one this. person talking to one person. All, all things taken away, like whether you think TikTok is evil or not, it was a great proof as to why we need more young people in these in these kind of like Congress and shit. Yeah, I've seen the Facebook so one bad. where Mark Zuckerberg's on trial and they're like, so you're, you're keeping data of where I am? Yeah. And they're like checking into a place and stuff. Oh, yeah, they just and didn't they're understand like, it? They're, they're like, so TikTok tracking how old their users are? And the guy's like, uh, yeah, they put that in voluntarily when they make their account. He's <laughs> like, so you're keeping records of people's ages? And he's like, yes. <laughs> Play. That, that voice is perfect for it. Oh, I, can I not weigh in myself? Oh. Not, I'm not the Zeus no, presenter. Yeah, yeah, you're right not now. the presenter now. I'm not the presenter, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, hey, what, what do you want to say, Zach? Friend? You are Zach? the person who's that's, actually That's pretty much it. the whole no, Zeus guy. Looks a lot that's like the whole Zach. news story, but in terms of talking about it, like, have you guys seen some of the funny clips that oh, came out of it? No. That no. voice you used, Peter, is kind of like perfect because it kind of looks like a more southern US kind yeah, of like congressman. This, and he's so accusing too. Yeah. It's like... Mm, so you you remember this stuff and it's like that is how the app functions yes that is correct it's like mm, that's sus I don't know if you've ever had it at like a family dinner or something or like an interaction with an older relative where they're just like they're just like mm, well I think like this or this and then you like completely like prove them wrong with something and they're like mm, agree to disagree um, yeah I don't know about like, that one yeah it's like mm, no <laughs> it's like no counter argument one of, my, one of my favorite ones is the person being like so for the filters they detect your face and they then they track your face to attach the filter to it. it's like so you're using facial recognition software <laughs> and it's like yeah so they can place the yep. filters on your face and there's like mm, yeah, facial recognition in the app and it's like <laughs> oh my god shut up and this is like to the ceo in front of like millions and millions yeah, yeah, of people yeah, yeah. and it's like this is the best guy they got to question him like come on maybe like, that's true. kind of good though right it's because they have no young people why didn't they hire someone yeah hire a young translator yeah and then the tiktok ceo is like yo yo no cap no cap Put the <laughs> to see him, like, and then the young <laughs> translates <laughs> it to <laughs> It's yo like, yo no cap we put the filters in yeah the, we got the for bus real, and real. filters they be yeah. yelling all over you no cap sheesh <laughs> yeah, that would be so funny the tiktok like ceo was like that like yeah, yeah. out of control <laughs> tiktok brain out he's like dancing like, the whole time <laughs> <laughs> and then like whenever he makes a response it's like different words but he just like puts up a sign that says what he means oh. you know how they have like the movie quote and it's like Doom. I don't think I can do this anymore but <laughs> now I can and then you'll put text up there which is like me when I thought I couldn't graduate high school <laughs> 
<laughs> and then like the, the the TikTok guys just playing sounds and holding up text to speech like, oh my. captions. <laughs> Me when I have to explain TikTok to this boomer. <laughs> Holding up signs every couple seconds. Yeah, nodding out. Totally me when I have to explain (laughs) this to Congress. Oh god, it was it was pretty grim. Wow, it's hard to watch honestly. There are a few good memes that they pull up because like sometimes some of their like evidence from the US side is like they have to show a relevant TikTok to be like. Or like, look at this example, but the TikTok will be like some stupid fucking meme. <laughs> and oh, this sounds amazing! Oh, wow. yeah. and, and then it's like TikTok's that's their port. that's their evidence. And then this lady was like playing. I can't remember the video, but it was like a really stupid one from someone like, uh, you, you, just like uh, saying some shit. I can't actually remember. But I think people are trying to say like encourages people to be like negative and like do dangerous challenges and stuff yeah. and shit like that. And it's like, like I YouTube guess, but that's every every, every social, social media, media does that, right? yeah. yeah. So yeah, play. Play the zoos. Um, and there was one more thing we saw in the TikTok trial, which is where the uh, CEO was talking about collecting people's uh, public profile information. And the congressman... Well, I'm just going to talk normally. <laughs> the congressman was like... Um, this zoos is wild. So, so, <laughs> like, so you have a collection of all these people's profiles like attached to their name. And you can see like people's like individual videos on these profiles. And then he was like, uh, yes, those are the videos they choose to publicly post <laughs> yeah. and like show everyone in the world. So it's like that is how from posting China works. Could, he was like, mm, you can see into the like see track everyone's by profiles. He, I remember him being like, well, that sounds creepy when he mentioned something about like everyone having a profile. He yeah. was like, that sounds creepy. Talk about that. And he was like, that's ev- uh, the public profile everyone posts their videos to. And I think he got, he was like grill getting grilled there for like hours. I don't yeah. know exactly how long, but he was putting up with this shit for hours. But no, no solution. No. To the, sorry, back to the zoos. But currently, no conclusion to whether TikTok will be banned in the US. More discourse needs oh, to take place. Oh, is it going to be banned? Sorry, pause. Is it going to be banned? That's that what is about. the thing. The whole wow. aspect. So well, I guess they're just grilling nonstop, right? And then they look at it all and then be like, "It looks like it's going to get banned." Really? Like, wow. At least it did until like there was no outcome from this trial. But if there's like it, it looked in the favor of getting banned. What made it look like that? Well, because the TikTok CEO will be like, uh, yeah, we like get people to put in their age and they're like, their age? China's going to fucking take over. Like yeah. everything they said that they took, that was information. Not that the government doesn't have 500 times more information on everyone. Wait, so who's trying to get TikTok? America. America. <laughs> right. And so the Congress is representing yeah, Like America. it won't get banned here. Right. Like Australia will have We're TikTok. not fighting for it. Although we do like copying America. So yeah, yeah, surely if it gets banned there, then are we just like, yeah, okay. Do you guys think you should get banned? Um, I don't no. know anything about Ooh. it. Yeah, maybe because I just feel like I don't understand. Then again, anything. I much prefer YouTube shorts. So for <laughs> yeah, me, I say yes. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like so disrespectful to all the creators that have built their platform on TikTok. And as a content creator, I'm like, I don't want them to lose their main it's platform. I think it's like... The argument for it to be banned is that people think that China is using it as like a, Info. yeah, like a, a war tactic basically, and like because you know there have always been these like tensions rising it's with pretty Russia. Good war and tactic. It is. It's TikTok. great it, if you believe the people who are big on the side of like it's collecting data. How do you how do you use that in a war? Well, basically, if you do, you think here, here's a question for you. Do you think that TikTok has made people? stupider and like less yeah. motivated yeah. or smarter and like better people that hasn't every, every social media done that yeah so they ban it in their own country so that they don't rot their own country no, and no, then no, they no, export it to rot the minds of young people in other countries is twitter next but i think twitter's probably even more so than nah tiktok is the most brain rotting uh. thing the instant like under 60 second gratification it rots my brain and i like feel it doing it when i've been watching like youtube shorts for a bit i'm like like, what the fuck am i doing they've banned in their own country they have their own versions but they've also banned youtube and everything right yeah yeah exactly because they don't want to get brain rotted from usa and they build like 60 skyscrapers a day i reckon they just (laughs) that's a fact (laughs) (laughs) are we watching the zeus or is that just you telling us that no that's that's a very distinct (laughs) breaking news me as zach not our china has finally hit their target of 60 skyscrapers 61 i'm hearing folks 61 (laughs) we've got another one today it's a big day in china they will not stop erecting I reckon they've just they just uh, they just made the next best thing, right? Yeah, why have they why have they banned it in their own country? Because they ban everything like that in their own country. Yeah. Why are they making it for money? I guess 
It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they use that money to build a lot of skyscrapers. <laughs> yeah. 60 to be precise. Maybe even 60 a day. <laughs> but it's pretty interesting to have different algorithms for different countries because then you can influence different countries. Oh, yeah. Through a private company. 100%. And so wow. you, can, you can be like, hmm, America, they get a big bid for their britches and then you send them a bunch of like Nick Cato avocado memes in a row and they're yeah. just like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a lot of influence, right, you, it's, over it's, the people. That's, their, that's what they're scared of. That is Wait. what they're scared of. I have gotten like pro China um, TikToks. No. <laughs> China's no. based. Sheesh. <laughs> 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 no, China, yo, yo, no China cap. really no cap. China not capping out here. Don't let America snatch your wig. China Ten reasons to learn Mandarin. Is like, oh, look who's happening here. <laughs> and they slowly trickle it in. Keep track, everyone. No. Top Ten Chinese government officials. <laughs> <laughs> I got a TikTok that seemed like it would be very um, left-wing American, and by the end of it, it like it, it like brought up all this information. Then the end of it was like saying like, "Yeah, that's all bullshit." Like, and and it was like very right-wing. Wait, what's left? And I was right? like, "Sorry, which one's which?" Left, left is, is progressive, right is conservative. Okay, right is Trump. Okay, <laughs> and like and gun laws, I believe they like. Well, that's all. All the conservative stuff is. That yeah. Kind of okay. Yeah. Um, conservative. Yeah, progressive. I got a very conservative TikTok, and like I've never really watched that before. It was kind of out of nowhere, and I was like, "This is strange." But like, you, thinking of that, like they could fix, like switch America's algorithm to really favor one side for of sure. their political argument, and that would fucking influence. Like, it's insane for one. Well, that's company what they to, said they already do, right? Yeah. Have you uh, watched what? the the social, social what's the, the social dilemma? They're like, oh no, social dilemma. they like talk, so it's like, oh, if you're in your twenties, you automatically get given progressive stuff. Yeah. yeah. Compared to if you're in your fifties, you like automatically get given why? That's because that's what people like on average. What you want. But then it kind of pushes it more so yeah, in each direction. Yeah, it spreads you further out. Yeah. And there people. are two pretty polarised camps in America. Ooh, I think. America's because got so bad with polarisation. Divide and conquer. Yeah, dividing. That's the thing. Sun China Su. is like... They say China might be trying to divide and conquer by causing unrest by like, you know... It, it showing, might be slowly working. And showing, they fund Russia. Like, imagine if you have someone who is Fun fact. extremist, keep showing them more extremist stuff, yeah. and then they get even worse. It's crazy. It's possible. Does um does Google do the same thing with YouTube Shorts? Everything Likely. does it. I like, mean, yeah. everything has an algorithm, but whether that algorithm has an end goal is the question. But it's just like if also your end goal is to keep people on your platform yeah. as much as possible, yeah. you do that anyway because it's like, look, this is what you like. Oh, look at these people over here. That's kind of bad, bit dramatic. Look at this silly, so dangerous, silly man. So Trump dangerous. man it's or crazy, whatever it is. It? When you think about how much influence over society these private companies have who have their own prerogative yeah it is pretty fucked because all you need to hear is your opinion confirmed in an echo chamber and a bit and more yeah. as well and then you're just exciting. like gonna think you're right yeah and you're not gonna and that's what happens with these parents like you're saying they're being like nah it's like well because they've already seen exactly what they think they needed to hear because yeah. i'm sure their tiktok is like look at this crazy trans woman yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like someone going like completely off do you see the the wow. story about the how it's sorry who's the fucking news presenter sorry do you want me to go to this uh, afternoon on oh wait the no, wait oh wait oh, no, sorry, can, sorry. can we play the zeus can we play the zeus we've got the zeus and the jackson news play <laughs> yeah jackson play, news. play jackson news. all right and now we're gonna throw it over to our man on the field jackson oh, thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one uh this is a bit of a weird story in this forest but uh i don't want to tell it actually <laughs> a better <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? It's a bit of a controversial one here, Zach. I'm passing it back over to you. Wait, I want to hear the controversial topic, Jackson. Uh, okay, then. Is this like, what? Is this Mickey Mouse? Look, my voice. Right, <laughs> so. Oh, this is bad. Back to you, Zach. <laughs> Please, you well, have to do I it. I think we really need to hear it. Maybe just do it in a less stupid voice. I'm going to pass it over to No, just do it in a serious James. voice. Hello, guys. Um, So there was a story about a trans person that killed someone. And there was a oh, big push this. of this story. This. And then everyone was saying like, well, what about every other murder? Because it's like, it's yeah. just pushing the narrative that a one trans person killed someone. Yeah. And it's like trying to push this narrative of therefore trans people kill everyone. I said so. Well, it, was, it, <laughs> what, it wasn't just fucking insane. Yeah. It's a bit of insane logic, but that's definitely what the Facebook comments are really? saying. It was, 100%. A, um, it was a, what's it called? Mass shooting thing. It was not oh, was like it? a murder. Sorry, so I actually was, don't oh, have my facts okay, straight. Because okay, okay, America okay. has, you know, mass shootings. They've had, I think this year. Yeah. Over 120 mass Now, is shootings. that more factual than 60 skyscrapers? It is more. Damn, <laughs> and the, the statistics, as a kid, yep. you are now more likely to be shot than die in a car accident in America. That's insane. Like, the percentage has overtaken. It's gone from, like, 8 to 20% in, like, the last few years. Yeah, and 
Uh, but then like oh, you're saying, yeah. like they say like sh- mass shootings and it was like, this was a trans person this yeah. time. And then people are using that push their agenda. Yeah, it's like ammunition, right? And then oh, you, you see, see video you games s- back in the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The video games causing violence. It's the same thing. It's like, and people just use it as like a reason to push their agenda. And then when you, I think I saw this that it was like number of mass shootings by cis people, like 2,900 by trans people, three. Yeah. So it's like, well, you know, like it's not, it's it's just another- Doesn't make any sense. It's just- But it's, if you're news, you're like, what gets people to click? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was saying. And, and that's why, why I didn't want to do it in a silly voice. What, yeah. what news you watch influences so much about what you're going to see. Oh, 100%. Like, you need to, like, I actually am reasonably aware of this when I read headlines. I see what things they focus on in this headline. It's very interesting. And it's like- there was like the press conference of the person talking about this shooting and mm-hmm. like some details coming out and it's live. Mm-hmm. And so you see the news station will update the bottom bar, mm-hmm. which is their main headline. And it was changing multiple times as press conference was going on. Wow. And it was mm-hmm. like, you know, victims, number of victims confirmed, blah, blah. And then it got to, this was, oh uh, God, it was Sky News, which is our most insane news station oh. here, in, here in Australia. I think they're, I think they're reasonably... Right wing? I don't know. They're, they're pretty crazy. They they're right wing. They're owned by Murdoch, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, they're pretty crazy. And then when it got to the whole identified as trans, that stayed there the entire time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more updates on the bottom bar of the yeah. file because that's the part that that news station wanted to focus on. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. That's kind so, of what wow. my point was. Regardless if you think that's a, the problem or not, yeah. be aware of what the news station is showing you. Yeah. But what sucks is like um, all the people, there's like, at, I want to say at least half the people in America like do want gun control. But then it's like, what the fuck do you do? Like, I wouldn't know what to do if I lived in America. And like, <laughs> I'm just lucky enough that like Australia has yeah. not had that problem for a, quite a while. But like, I don't know what I would do if I like believed in that. Like everyone does the protests and that. And then it's just like nothing ends up happening because there's too much of like an anti-force. So I, I do feel for like a lot of the reasonable Americans that are advocating for gun control. It just fucking sucks. Have you got a, um, like a hippo saves a cow sort of story at the end? <laughs> like a <laughs> fun news? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jesus, I don't know you, the news were depressing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was, what was the other thing in the news? If it's uh, bad, I think we might even just end the news. No, it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not me. bad. I might have to turn, change the channel. We got a comedy <laughs> show on, we got the Simpsons or something. That was, <laughs> wait, that was just TikTok, Bar, right? What the? No, then I did my little news story. Yeah, press, yeah, you said I, you had two. Yeah, I, can I press said, play on the zoos again? No, no, I don't remember my other zoo oh, story. No, no more God, zoos. This station is Any a mess. Any YouTuber drama we got? There's something I saw on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> the old zoos. Dude, I oh here's something funny. What's while you're while you're, you're remembering, yeah. I went to a quiz night the other night, and they had a few things that were like topical events, current affairs. Mm-hmm. And I was probably the best at my table just because of Twitter. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I don't so watch funny. the news at all. And that's like, the, and someone was like, oh, someone set a world record for the longest surf session ever. And I was like, I talked about it on the podcast the day before the quiz night. Oh. And I learned that from Twitter. I was like, it was 40 hours. I know this one. And everyone's like, what the hell? I went to one and it was like either the questions aimed at 50 year olds or like 20 year olds. And I just didn't know either demographic. At you're, you in have tw- you're in your 20s. What do you mean? No, like literally like, what is the name of these TikTok brothers? Oh, and I just had no okay. idea about it. And then it would go like, what was the most popular th- item in the 1967 <laughs> revolution or whatever the fuck? I, I hate know. ones that ask all the questions to one demographic though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, this island near Perth, Rotnest, has like a bar. And we used to go to the quiz night there like almost every year because I'd go on holidays there with my family and always like this fucking quiz night would just always be targeted at old people. It's so annoying. those are the ones that could afford to go to Rotnest because yeah, it's a bit yeah. of a luxury holiday. And they're the ones making up the quiz, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. the ones sitting in the pub at night time doing that, you know? It's not like a... All right. Yeah, am I justified for this? They asked in the quiz night... Is this like an am I the asshole type no. thing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. One of the quiz night questions was... Uh, what animal kills the most people each year? I think you said did you humans, say humans? You? No, I didn't. Oh. oh. Was that the answer? It, it wasn't humans. Oh, okay. Is it dogs? What, what do you animals? think? What animal kills the most people each oh, year? Oh, dogs? It's, they're going to say mosquitoes because of malaria. Yeah, I was going to say like bees oh. or something. Maybe. No, you see, I said mosquitoes. Yeah. Which was the correct answer. In your opinion? If you count mosquitoes as an animal. Right. But they their answer an was an hippopotamus. Animal. And I actually knew that hippos were the second... But I was like, mosquitoes kill more. And I was like, that counts as an animal. Well, I think it's because they spread a disease. So the disease is killing people. The animals aren't killing them yourself. It's like... I still I still that's think... That's true. It's like mosquitoes saying like, should you be... died of the plague. You didn't die of a rat. But the shit part was, I knew that hippos mm. like killed the most people. Because yeah. I had 
Like we had been talking about that fact, I think on the podcast actually. I think it depends how you define the thing killing you. Yeah, I think Peter's got a point. Does did, did the monkey start COVID? Well, whoever it was. No, a bat. Oh, bat. bat. So did bats kill you the most bats? people? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You would no, say you died to COVID. I think mosquitoes different because they bite you. Yeah, like if a if a bat bit you and it had like why is but venom like, the plague like was spread by fleas on rats? So yeah. is it? I would say the fleas. Fleas yeah. on rats. Yeah, the fleas. Your fleas on rats. Got the fleas <laughs> on the rats. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good rat. So and we carry in the plague. <laughs> <laughs> when the fleas on the rats, and we got the plague. You better move out of the way. <laughs> Uh, please on rats. We're rats. Oh, dude. Rats. Yeah, this could be a sequel to the joke. <laughs> Hang that off to who? <laughs> no, 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 it's a reference. Time. That's a German oh, 985 reference. Oh, okay, okay. sorry. Okay. It's crazy that he's become like mainstream popular. I'm so yeah. happy about that. What a um, legend. So I thought of the last zoo story, by the way. Oh, yeah. But uh, just the last thing oh. on these mosquitoes. Oh, pause. Like, <laughs> if a snake bites you and the venom kills you. The snakes killed you. But if the mosquito bites you and the disease kills you, then the mosquito hasn't killed you? But they give you a parasite by biting you. So is it the parasite that kills you? Well, what is snake venom? Is it a chemical? or is It's it the hope that kills you, actually. Oh, it's a chemical. Okay. That's where the difference is, I guess. Yeah. So hippos, am I right? Yeah. Hippos, fucking scary. What? I think that's just because they they're more aggressive well? than other veggie ones. Veggie yes. Yeah, they are. They're just yeah. more aggressive than other animals. You they're very protective. <laughs> this also says snakes is more. What? This one says snakes No, but that won't more. be one species of snake. That'll be just snakes. Oh, okay. There's only one hippo. It was what species? It's the one white rhino. He's <laughs> on a fucking rampage still. Yeah, million, <laughs> million people for mosquitoes. That's a lot. How many for hippos? I can't even see hippos on here. Maybe I'm bloody hippos. Did I make that up? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Second most is hippopotamus. Mm. Uh, this has mosquitoes, humans, snakes, dogs, tsetse flies, assassin bugs, freshwater snails, scorpions. Dogs, not hearing no, a lot I, of hippos. Dogs is a lot, dude. Wow. Thirty-five thousand for dogs. Ta- it counts tapeworms. Oh, but this list. Counts this has mosquitoes. mosquitoes. A tapeworm is an animal. This one has hippos. Not even in the picture. What uh, counts as I a think, dog? I think that's a wrong. Okay, uh, it's Wikipedia. That's never wrong. No, though. everyone no. at home, believe me when I say hippopotamus, and tell your friends because that's a more interesting fact than snakes. And they call me the misinformation spreader <laughs> of the podcast. That's not. Yeah, there's more dogs than hippos. All right, turn the turn okay. the zoos back on. Beep. Our last story here tonight on the zoos. Elon Musk has said that everyone that is not verified on Twitter will not have their tweets appear on the For You page. And he says the reason is so that swarms of AI bots cannot take over Twitter. But I think he just wants everyone to pay for the blue check mark. So you're safe. Beep. Pause. Sorry, you're safe. No, because everyone, everyone, losing his everyone check mark. that's got the check mark for being like a quote unquote like influencer celebrity person is losing the check mark. What? Because Elon is saying that it's like not fair to so, give certain individuals oh, okay. like priority. I suppose that makes sense. So now he's saying anyone can get it. You just need to pay eight bucks a month and you also can't appear on people's For You page if you don't pay for it. So the logic is, right, is that you can launch... If you have like a political agenda to push, you, mm-hmm. could launch you can bots. make 5,000 bots and they just say shit and then the algorithm will pick them up and then put them through if you know mm-hmm. how to do that. Mm-hmm. If you're now spending $8 per bot, you're not going to do that anymore. Yeah. I think that's the logic there. I don't know if I agree with it. I think that's sense. what he's saying. That's what he's saying. But Which, it's also like they're going to make more money off it. Oh, yeah, for sure. But then he what also, I think he quickly backpedaled that a little bit and said like, if you follow an account, it'll still appear on your For You. Which like, if that wasn't the case, oh, then it's like, what I the like fuck? It then. I thought you'd been... Well, that's the thing. So like, how do you get new followers unless your tweets are appearing in other people's yeah, feeds? Jordan. So you're going to see it, all the people you follow. Yeah. Anyone else that has a tweet is like not going to appear on your main page. I'm unless down. they have a that's check mark. Cool. Unless they oh, fantastic. So they need to pay to... So you, No, but there'll be these paid accounts who are still going to appear on your feed randomly. That's like ads. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I see if, That's my problem with Twitter, question. actually, is that I just see this shit I don't care about. Sure, you'll still see replies, right? I'm, I assume, yeah, I was yeah, thinking I of replies and retweets. Yeah. Like, you'd have to see retweets. I assume. That's true. So, retweets is the only way to get followers, which in that more. case, like, yeah, no algorithm. A lot but less everyone shitty was randomness. very upset, so we might be missing something because people were quite upset. People just say, you make me pay money. Yeah, yeah, paying for something is especially since most of mine is Smash Twitter, and Smashes do not like spending eight bucks. They do not. I think it makes sense (laughs) that people are mad if you're like, "This thing's free now, pay." That makes just a general, natural, a general thing from business. Never make something that was free now paid. Is just something that like 
is just going to make, make people dislike thing. you. Make it like a new gold check mark. Well, it's like if you added a new section that's just called like the new for you and then you only have these accounts it's and like home. you just really hide the last yeah. version of for you, I'm sure they wouldn't have gotten this much shit because mm. that's what they did with YouTube. It used to be so subscription based and they changed it to recommended based and they made it so hard to find your subscriptions. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember this. Yeah, yeah. It used Vaguely. to be all about subscriptions and they just made it progressively harder to find your subscribe pages and now that shit doesn't really matter that much anymore. It's just the homepage. It's all about the homepage now. It used to, Your homepage used to be your subscriptions. Dang. I'm kind of down to see a lot less nonsense so on Twitter. Yeah, I keep... Oh, God. Dude, I, I kept getting shown shit I didn't want to see. And it's so fucking annoying. Because if you look yeah, at Twitter... Yeah, I started getting shown like random fight videos. Yeah, what's with that? You've been getting there? Yes. They, and it's like it's security camera footage of like some some guy like decking another guy. <laughs> That's or the like problem. fighting back. It's like one man fights back against these three people that tried to mug him and he will like fucking like slam one you of their heads on the You probably the whole floor. thing though, right? Is that yeah, what gets it's you? So, it's like such a shocking video. Mm. And like some of them, like, I don't know if some of these people fucking died, which like, I don't like watching videos like that, but- But it's eye it catching. It's like a train crash, yeah. you know, or car crash. You can't look away. Mm. And the, al- the AI algorithm recognizes that you can't look away and shows you more and you're like, fucking stop it. <laughs> But like all those pages that are like oddly terrifying and that they're all gonna get the yeah. the check mark, so it's not gonna matter. That like true. surely if you're spending that much time running a fan page, you can spend eight bucks a month. I do like a gimmick again. Like I I would kind of want to get this check mark, but I know that everyone that gets it is gonna look like a massive weenie. Yeah, yeah, that's. So I'll probably hold off until like it's gonna become the norm in under a year. Like everyone's gonna be like, eh, stupid. Then everyone's gonna be like, oh, actually, like, kind of, I want that. And then more and more people are gonna get the check. I wonder mark. how many people. And it's will just buy gonna it. become normal. I would buy it, except it's kind of got that weenie vibe at the moment. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, I'll hold, I'll probably hold off because like anyone that gets it now is gonna get bullied in the first few months. It yeah. seems like if you're but trying to like, if you have a career like us, it seems like actually worth the eight. Kind of a no brainer. Yeah, because yeah. you're like actually investing in mm. people seeing your stuff. It's also yeah. tax deductible. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Dab to that, boys. Yeah, maybe we'll have. Maybe I'll just go buy it on the underdogs account after this and see the pushback. I'll test it. <laughs> just comment on some stuff. See if you yeah. Can. What's the one where they shame the person with the tick? Yeah, the the Lord Farquaad like the haha yeah, yeah super yeah. follower or whatever. <laughs> when does it start? When does this implement? Uh April fifteenth, I want to say. Beep. Two weeks, pretty much. Ooh. How exciting. No, the zoos is over. Oh, we're rolling credits for the zoos. Oh, the sports section of the zoos is now. Come on, Jackson. Um, Brisbane Lions got up on the weekend, boys. Okay, I'm turning on the zoos. <laughs> Let's go. I'm the Lions. Bloody hell. Um, Holly and I have started doing something new. Shit. Sex. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I'm it's so happy crazy. for you. I know you guys were waiting for marriage. Now that you're engaged. We're committed. Well done. No, Holly wanted to test out a bit of a... No sex. Wait, sorry. Oh, sorry oh, to hear that. Oh, oh. oh Zach's checking Zach's something. Off. He's going to press a sound. <laughs> no, but he said he said no. He's saying he doesn't have it now. Boo. Do a boo. Is there do a boo? I'll do it. No, no, no. I'll do oh, it. Hold no, on. It's home, the mate. green one. Press the green How one. How good does running over to the buttons? This, this is him when they're having... When, I'm crummy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was actually oh, me. Yeah, we didn't test out the I'm crumbing soundboard effect. Well, there it there is. There you go, guys. What do you think? Now you know. That's no, funny. that's Holly- going to be Jordan in two years. Holly oh, wanted to try I'm out a bit of. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> let's do the story. I'm what so happened, sorry. Lush? No, uh, Holly wanted to try out a bit of gaming, so. We've been playing a bit of games together. A bit Wait, of... haven't you always done that? No, Jolly not really. games is a lie. Wait, Jolly games. Okay, that's been like a few one-offs of like, I was mucking around on Mario Kart, but no, Holly got a little computer, little laptop <laughs> set up. We've been playing a bit of Left 4 Dead and stuff. Nice. Oh, shit. oh and wow. It's been, it's been pretty fun. So I wanted to ask if you guys have been doing anything new with your girlfriend. Sex. <laughs> <Jesus> no, <laughs> no. A weird question. What a loaded question. But uh, yeah. I, I'll say, I'll start on the gaming front. Like, me and Maddie will pretty rarely, but like sometimes we'll play games together and it's, it's always a good time, but we play very casual games That's together. what Holly and I have only done in the past. Yeah, yeah, like we'll do like Mario Party with like some computers or we'll do like, we've played Fall Guys before and like taking it in turns on the Switch and stuff like that. Shipped, you know. Oh, Minecraft yeah. is a good one. Minecraft I read. Yeah, Minecraft yeah. was fun. Minecraft. Maddie likes Minecraft, but she loves creative mode and I'm a bit of a survival mode fiend. It's not going to work out, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yes. 
but <laughs> she's not going to be playing no, Minecraft together. So no, she's, I didn't yeah. mean to agree with you. So <laughs> if she's not ready to take all the responsibilities of survival Minecraft, how is she? How is she going to take? How all can the we take our relationship to exactly. hardcore mode? It kind of did know? show me how, like the games, like, in a way, like kind of good and like show stuff. Because the first game we played was Portal, and Portal's got like a co-op mode in yeah. it. So that was a bit of puzzle solving. But it was like at first Holly was like. She was like kind of stuck in this level and she was just like, oh, no, nah, I can't do it. You can't, you can't get through. Then, you know, she kind of like worked it out and we did the puzzle. Well, well-designed games, like, like Portal is really well-designed because it is accessible like that. It shows you everything in a logical order, but it's still satisfying. Yeah, but it makes, it showed me that like games kind of give you this, it puts you in like difficult situations where it's all on you to figure out where maybe you don't get that in like yeah. other things. And I was like, oh, wow, look at this. Look at, you. look at you problem bit, solving, eh, Holly? Bit, bit problem That's you over a shot. Hey, look at you go, Holly. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can do it, but Jordan, I don't even want to play this stupid shit. Come on, baby, you can do problem it. problem solving. No, you just got to put the companion cube on that red button over there. <laughs> yeah, and it's good because also get, there's a lot of co-op games compared to like if we play yeah. board games or something, it's a lot of versing each other. But yeah, a bit of bit of poor, yeah, we like bit the of left games. Dead. No. We play Lego Star Wars sometimes. Lego Star uh, Wars, Minecraft, yeah. as you said. Very casual stuff, though. Overcooked? Overcooked. Overcooked. I played Overcooked yesterday oh. with Sophie. Yeah, that's a and relationship. I've, good. I've always said, <laughs> I've always said, I don't want to play Overcooked with you because she's like finished them all. She's really good at them. Yeah. And I've like not. I played it once maybe. Yeah. And I, she just kind of went to it, uh, having such high expectations of me to be able to do anything. And we're getting to level. She's like, "This is the one where you're flying and you have to do this." And I'm like. What's the buttons? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's cook again? I, I hate overcooked. Wheezing. I was laughing so hard, but only because I was doing so bad and she was getting so pissed at me. <laughs> and because apparently there's like bonus points for putting them on the thing in the right order. You need to like keep a streak going on putting them in the right order. Oh, wow. And I just made something and I'm like, it's on the docket. It's on the thing. And I put it and she's like, no. Should we move on though? I've, um, yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna talk about uh, me and Maddie were doing some stuff for her birthday, but it was one one new thing that we were doing. We did that. I could kind of tack onto Jordan's. Yeah. Like we um we did like a picnic and uh, an escape room and that. But then at night we went in a, a little gondola ride. They do that here. Yeah, at uh, Elizabeth Key. Oh, oh cool. Which wow. is a little like little harbor they've just built in Perth. Well, it's a key. But if you don't know what I that is, I always thought that was so awkward. And you're sitting there, and there's some. Gu- is it the guy rowing the boat behind Craig? Yeah. His name? <laughs> Craig, <laughs> Craig. Craig's there. Yeah, he's rowing with his big muscles. Like, it's a bit hot here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. And you're like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, w- me and Maddie have been near the key before, and she's seen people in the gondola, and she's been like, "Oh, like I really want to do that one day," which is like why I booked it as like a surprise for her. But then when she said like, "Oh, I want to do that one day," I was like, "Oh, really? It looks a bit shit." <laughs> like I was like, "Why would we?" Do that when we're probably going to go to like Italy at some point in our life. Like we could maybe try and get to Venice and like do it through those canals. And then she was just like, "Oh yeah, maybe." I just think it looks nice. Then I booked it, and it was really fucking nice. It was good. Yeah, we went. I at feel like, like when sunset. you're there and you're choosing, you got to choose the ugliest person, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? To, like to row your boat. There was only one guy. I think it's just one guy that runs it. Was he ugly? Was he? Yeah, compared um, to you. <laughs> you can't get really into a gondola with a more attractive exactly. guy. That's just what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. he was less attractive than me. Oh, okay, good choice. But not to be not to be too mean. <laughs> Did no. you ask her? Sorry? Did you stand next to him and go, Maddie, which one's hotter? She went, I guess you. And you're like, bingo, no, let's he, go. She's like, yeah, but then Zach's like, all right, he picked up the oar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, he, if he tried to make a move, I could just push him overboard. That's true. Get back ourselves somehow. No, I don't think it was I don't think it was just rowing. There was some kind of motor. Oh, he so was, he's just going like this. He oh, was steering. It's, it's like it was a full like setup. Like it had a, a nice like curtain, like LED light strips and a like curtain. music playing like Italian like Are you meant to smash on the boat or something? Where's the it, curtain? You could have. You meant to rock the boat, you know? He didn't say a word the whole time. I'm not sure if he would have piped up if we started having sex, but we didn't. What so. about hand stuff? Do you think he would have said something? <laughs> There was a blanket on the boat, which yeah. we wore because we were cold. No hand stuff happened, but, you know, why is the blanket there? Maybe it's to cover Craig up. Craig doesn't want to know your business. Yeah. yeah, good on you, Craig. Is it um, not awkward, him just standing there? No. Really? No, he's like, he's behind us, so we didn't even, like, look at him. Didn't pay attention. But he's, he's, I, I, would he's feel feel I would feel it. I would feel it. We were sitting yeah. looking forward, and we had, it come, came Craig with a full, full bottle of wine. Oh. And like little mm. places to put your wine glasses so that they like in holders. Did you pour crane and, glass? And some chocolates and a red rose. Oh, can I please have some cheese? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> <on>, I'm starving. <laughs> I've been rowing for Excuse an hour. hands. Excuse hands, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you might just, I just lean over here. Just <laughs> <laughs> eat the whole block. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I stood up. He had a bottle concept. of wine to himself, just <laughs> chugging it in the back. That would be such a depressing job if you were like chronically single. Yeah, oh, and you were and just every like night. every every Come night. This loving. On. I bet you'd get to intrude on some great arguments though. Yeah, oh, but true. it was it was fairly pricey. So like he's making his money, but then you get like wine, chocolates, and like a rose. So. Yeah. Oh, bro. Don't get the boat, bro. Um, yeah, so if you... Uh, sorry, Jordan. Holly listens to the podcast. She but does. If, if Peter or Jackson ever struggling for a birthday idea, this was really nice. All right. And I was talking shit about it beforehand, and then I was like, you know what? That was great. <sighs> wow. That sounds so romantic. Birthday idea. Birthday, yeah. Months coming up. Yeah, it's, it's, I'll really. get it for you. Jess. Thanks, yeah, I'd like <laughs> me that. And me and you, <laughs> and Craig, hopefully. We could do it as the underdogs. There were there was enough to, room to sit like eight people if you Ooh, wanted. Oh, Why? Wow. What kind well, of content is this? I think, I think this? people do like fifteen minute cruises during the day, and then like the sunset mm. cruise is like the romantic. So one. we would do that. <laughs> the romantic one, yeah. yeah, yeah what what whatever you want, Jackson. Get the blanket out. It's, it's, your, it's know. your birthday, mate. Oh, we'll do whatever you I want. The boys to come. The other dogs will pay for it. Stay at home. Oh yeah, it was literally like a couple of weeks ago where we did the whose line is it anyway for fucking on a boat. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so did you see someone in the comments? That might have gotten. Co- that might have been a Patreon edition. No, no, no I don't I think, think so. I saw comments. Someone said, um, "No one said semen," which we did. Oh, oh. <sighs> come on, boys! Should have said that. Yeah, how about Craig um, wasn't the only semen on the she, boat? <laughs> he, he, he has, here's one. <laughs> Except yep. it only works if you're a New Zealander. Okay. Or oh, she's on my dick. No, I like dick. Oh, <laughs> I like that. It's good. I got a girl on my dick. Got a girl on my dick. Do you still call it a cockpit for a boat? No. Or is it it's a like, hull? No, no. A hubbard? Isn't it just what like it? the... The seat. No, it's not The that. captain. Captain's quarters. I think it's that. The captain's quarters. No, that that's where good. he sleeps, not where he drives yeah, the boat. Really? Yeah, it's the cockpit. It's not. I'm telling it's you. It's the captain's not. cockpit. All right, what it, okay, it's called the cockpit. Go it's on. It's the cockpit. What is the joke then? No, that's it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> cockpit. It has <laughs> cock in the name. That's the joke. Come in my cockpit. That's Next cool. segment. Um, Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Jackson, you've got a little something to finish us off with. I was just Thank thinking you. about <laughs> how as I get old. Why'd you word oh, it like that? <laughs> and, and the question of the week. Sorry, yeah, John. Yeah, we'll true. finish the day with the question. After of the all week. the sex, finish us off, Jackson. <laughs> um, I was just thinking, like, what do you think you're going to do when you're old? <laughs> finish myself off. I have a very solid plan. Really? Old, actually, how you, yeah. Like a new hobby that you're going to do when you retire. Zach fears death immensely, so he's thought this out, you know? I reckon video games are just to play. I reckon old oh, people, yeah. I'm going to be. Oh, oh shit, that's a good point because yeah. you're not be hurting your bones. Video games are so good for us. I was thinking, and you'll be able to control it with your mind, so you don't even need fingers anymore. True. You'll have arthritis fingers and you'll just get plugged in. Damn, that's... I don't feel like I'm going to experience the world if all I'm doing is gaming as an old person. But have you seen old people? They yeah. don't watch TV. They're not they doing much experiencing bingo, bro. Yeah. after the travel. Jackson said, what am I going to do? I didn't say play bingo. What, Ooh, what I'm going to okay. do, okay. I'm going to be one of them van travelers. Oh, my, yeah, my parents are pretty much retired at this point. They're getting to this point. The van traveler. I'm, I'm jealous of how sick their camper trailer is. Mm-hmm. So that's like really cool. You can travel around like... Australia, go on cruises. Mm. Fuck, there's a reason old people love a cruise because cruises are lit and pe- we've been gaslit into thinking that only old people mm. can go on cruises. I'm cruises are not lit. Cruises look like they suck. Well, I've, I've, never, been, I've on never, never been on a cruise. Boring. It's like, um, yeah, really? one cruise you know, plan. like how you go on a ho- uh, holiday. Yeah. It's like that, except you're not allowed to leave the hotel. Yeah, but then like you get some time in each of the places. I'm not saying I would only do cruises. That was a cool part because like you'd stop. I did one like around Japan because we had to fly from the other side. It was just like literally easier. Yeah. And we stopped at like a few places, which was cool. But I feel like you could just do like the train and spend more time. Yeah, but you don't want to just go in the country. Yeah. And some people go cruises to nowhere as well. Yeah, that's crazy to me. I want the ones where you get like a day in each place. Yeah, that was cool. But then I also want to do the one where it's like... I also want to travel around not on a cruise. Yeah. To spend more time. Mm. But like some cruises, you just like, you go to a bunch of towns like around Europe, like the Red Sea or wherever, and you get off and spend like a day in each place. I think you just can do it faster on a train or... Yeah, but I like the cruise vibe as well. Yeah. I like like it. Hey, it's your life. If you're stopping off places, (laughs) man, I think the concept of it being on the boat is like not as exciting as some people make it out to be. Yeah. But uh, what about like, did you mean when you're like decrepit old? No, I just meant like retirement. I was okay. thinking about just oh. learning how to play golf when I'm oh, like also 55. I was thinking bird like watching. Deathbed. I might oh. be joining you on the bird watching. Yeah, bird watching. I'm, or, I'm already into it. You know what? Actually, I a zoom saw... lens and I played wingspan. Do you reckon there's going to be birds in 50 years? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, they'd be flying. 
They're fine. They're probably the last thing to go. Probably. They're like, yeah. what's going on down there? Bird probably not there. as many birds. But just having infinite time to like, I don't know if I'll still like this, but like making like movies and like filming Ooh. my like travels and that. But the problem is that you just stop having energy at that age. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it all seems like a good area at the time. Like speaking of a gondola, I saw like this, it actually reminded me of this video I saw of just two old people on a gondola thing, just fast asleep. <laughs> Cause it's just like, saving up your whole life to retire and go on this trip and then you can't enjoy it anymore because yeah. you're too like What if you save up and you just inject energy? yourself out of the wazoo? Like testosterone, steroids. Like, oh, you just start like yeah. crystal meth. Yeah, keep yeah, yourself yeah. up and going. I can just go for live it. Live hard, yeah, live probably. fast, die young. Why do you yeah. think they take multiple pills a day? Exactly. Kidney failure. It's amphetamines, bro. Yeah. Whew. Pop that. But I, I, I'm also not of the opinion of like waiting to be old to do that. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys... I have thought about this much, but being our own boss, got to pay your own super. Oh, yeah. And I've been doing YouTube for three or four years and I've not put any money into my super yet. Yeah, I'm not Because I'm kind of like, and my dad's like, mm, like really good idea. And I'm like, it is a good idea, but like, I, you can also back pay your super now because they change. Also, the world's going to change. Yeah, the world's I'm not even yeah. that worried about it. I'm, I'm a doomer. But it's like, yeah, I don't want to put money in my super, which I can access when I'm 60, when like I'm lucky enough that if I want to go on a holiday Dude. now, I can. Oh, yeah. The old older generation froth telling people to put money into their super. Yeah, because they're old and they wish That's they did true. that. Yeah. Well, but it's like... Not listening to that shit. <laughs> well, like, well, you weren't fucking saying that 40 years ago. Yeah, that's you're at right. the pub getting blind drunk every yeah. weekend. So shut your mouth, Dad. And they probably went on like lots of good trips. And then now they're like, yeah. those trips are over for them, but they're in my future. Yeah. So it's like something I can look forward to. And it's something that they might regret True. spending the money on. Maybe you always want stuff in the future. Maybe it's best to never do anything. <laughs> That's you know what I mean? a good point. Is that the Jordan question of the week? No, because it, okay, <laughs> because they've, they've done it all now and then it doesn't exist anymore. So is it better? What than does that even mean? Okay, so they, they don't like, live your life because it's a waste of money. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it doesn't exist. Okay, you got a hundred dollars, yeah? yeah? You spend it today, now tomorrow, you're sad. Jordan, I've got a great What? N- is that true? No, Jordan. Yes. No, it's not. You, wait, really. hey, you, you see, can't ask a question and just tell me what the answer is. That's no, no, not no. asking me People a question. Wait, they go out and they go for drinks and like, oh, I spent so much money yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday it was good. Now for the rest of onwards, it's bad. So okay, if you never I want do you to anything, go home and tell Holly the last four years we've been dating has been bad. Like, what a waste of time. Yeah, what about all the it's good memories? It's already happened. No, no, it doesn't no, no, exist no, anymore. No, 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 but we're staying together. So in the future, it's good. If you broke up, <laughs> then it was bad. You Holly, know we're mean? not spending a dollar for the next 40 years and because it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think so. And then what I can have ha- a few thousand dollars when I'm 80 to then okay. enjoy my life. All you are is memories. good memories no, is all, pointless. I'm saying all you are is memories. Yeah, of course. So all we need to do is just inject memories. <sighs> What's your question, oh, mate? Now that's good. <laughs> Am I right? No, 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 injecting so memories. Instead of instead of having good experiences, you just like There's no inject difference. the memory into your brain and save yeah. the money. There's literally yeah. no difference. No, all that you need is to figure out board. is you can finally think you get laid. All you all, <laughs> all you are is memories. That's all we need to figure out, then we're good forever. Yes. Isn't that kind of like the inner vat thing where it's like you don't know what your like is your life a simulation? Would I don't you know care? what a vat is. The whole I think therefore I am type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like if if you're if you could just go, we've had this conversation before, but if you could just be popped into a thing and have the best simulated life ever, but you wouldn't know any different, would you do it? Of course, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, Jordan's, you can't ask Jordan a question like that. No, no. Yeah. I, and I fed myself that's, up. That's like, I answered it. What that's, do you mean? No, that's what it's all about. Like, you know the yeah, answer yeah, already. That's, some people, about maybe myself thought. included, Jordan, do we have a question differently. of the week? Why would you feel different? Hang on, we're still... No, nah, we're done. Oh. Do you have a question of the week? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It might get us cancelled, so it might be Patreon. All right, only. just get ready to press that stop record button. Okay. It's the Puppet One question of the week. Yeah, right. Would you <laughs> rather have an IQ of... Okay, get ready to press stop 60 recording. or 160? 160. Because I'm saying if you only have 60, you don't know much to worry about. Maybe. Because I... No, okay, so Elon Musk was on a podcast and I don't really like, understand the Jordan, IQ Jordan, I reckon range. you might have an IQ of 60. <laughs> I remember Elon Musk being on Joe Rogan. He and, seems pretty happy. And he was like, you wouldn't want to have my brain. Because he's just thinking all the time. Like, yeah, if there's a problem right. and he's like, oh, go to Mars, fucking brrr, oh, Tesla, put him in the tunnel. You know, it never, <laughs> it never stops. And you got to think of all this shit. And then all the IQ means you're puzzle solving more, right? And yeah. it means you're better. At, so you see puzzles everywhere. You're doing it. All. Fucking hell, this is so annoying. IQ of 60, you might be like, Peanut butter is good today on toast. Yeah, I definitely feel like that about 
people in general. So I feel like people uh, that seem like they're just not even aware of anything are just the happier people. That's what I, I mean. think. The question should be sixty or one hundred and forty, right? Because a hundred's the middle. 100's the average, so there should be equal. Yeah, yeah, I average. looked up though, and like Einstein and Elon are around 160 and stuff. Okay, but if yeah, you has been research, yeah, but if you go down to 40 IQ, then it's like it's a fair bit worse. You can't really take care of yourself. Okay. What is? So I did a bit of study. Yeah, I, what's the 60 IQ? I don't person? really know. Na- name a friend IQ. that we have that's 60 IQ. No, I don't know. Oh, okay, <laughs> you're no, Um, I think it feels a bit like yeah, bad. Too. I mean, some people just have a higher or lower IQ. It's like I don't even. I've never done an IQ test. I could be lower. Okay, well, we could do it. I could do it a bit differently. Would you rather be very smart but worry a lot or not smart and not worry? This is kind of like the simulation argument. It's kind of similar. I think. Mm. I do truly think ignorance is bliss, I guess. Yeah, that's the the kind of the point, right? Uh, I what, like, do I, what do I lose my smarts in? Can I can I keep smarts in? You'll be probably like, worse at like editing, wouldn't you? And nah, editing you're probably and a bit worse. Well, then I'll keep the IQ because I already I already worry a, a, worry a bit. So you're gonna worry a lot more. No, it's interesting. That's one. not how it works. <laughs> I think I worry about uh, about as much as Elon Musk, but probably less than Ollie. Ollie's probably not that worried. No, not Your at dog. all. What do you What do you mean? Would you rather have the IQ of Ollie or Elon Musk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new question. Elon Musk or Ollie? Who are you going to be? Choose one. Oh, who am I going to just be? Yeah. I'm that person. Yeah. Maybe Probably I'll Elon Musk, so I'm still a human. Mm. But then who looks after Ollie? Ollie dies. See, like, it, being, no. coming a dog is kind of like entering the simulation thing because none of your problems ever matter and things are just so good. <sighs> so tough. You guys are fucking shit talking my dog a bit. His problems do matter. Thank you no, very much. No, I'm not shit talking your dog in particular. It's okay. just like dogs in general, particularly well, domesticated the word Ollie dogs. Ollie was thrown around a couple times. <laughs> okay, my family dog sounds Louie. The O word. When I look at Ollie, he does look like the smartest dog I've ever seen. He I, does. He's a lot smarter than you'd think. 61 IQ, man. Uh, that's, a, that's a great thing to throw uh, on someone because whatever you think now is wrong. He has to be. <laughs> and it just keeps working until you have to think he's like, a genius. Well, I do think he's pretty dumb, so I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie is smart when it benefits him. Yeah, and Bonnie's pretty you, smart. People usually, if they're like, oh, dog, like do this trick, like... Sometimes he's smart enough that like he knows what it means, but he just like knows he's not going to get a treat, so he doesn't do it. Mm, cheeky dog. But like, like whenever it'll benefit him, he's so much more intelligent. Maybe he's doing some social engineering. Maybe like he didn't like me, so he's a dick to me, and then makes me think he's stupid, so that I interact with him less because he hates me. He's doing social engineering. He's that's like pretty smart. Chess. That's pretty smart. I reckon that's the plan. Ollie's, Ollie's got yeah, me you're worked just out. Playing checkers. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting fucking outsmarted by he's Ollie. He's the 160 IQ in the situation. Yeah, I think I would rather be the the smarter one for the in answer to your question, Jordan. Fair enough. Because I don't think life is as easy as it appears for people who are very unintelligent. Imagine how many facts he wouldn't get incorrect on the podcast. Yeah, I'd actually be right for once. <laughs> True. Um, oh, any I would hate 160 IQ Peter. Nah. He'd oh actually be so God, fucking full right. of himself. He'd know everything. He already does. True. No, but like now, <laughs> now at least you're wrong half the time. Ah, if you were always right, yeah. you'd be a like, fucking pain. I feel Peter. like it'd probably be more useful though. Yeah, it would, but I wouldn't like you. <laughs> wouldn't you rather someone that thinks they're right and is right than someone that thinks they're right and is wrong? No, but then he keeps thinking Yeah, but then even it, it humbles Peter. He's in my place occasionally. Like, think of how big that head would be if he had 160 IQ. Oh, Imagine sure. trying to win the water argument. Girls would hate it. Against 160 IQ, Peter. He couldn't yeah, get his shirt off pretty annoying. His, head. <laughs> his head's too big. It already is, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Have to cut him open. So he his shirt's on. Oh, sorry. For the, Here for we the go. Main, we got one. For the main podcast oh. listeners, uh, that'll probably be it. Thank so you for we'll watching. see you next week. Remember to head on, check out the Patreon. Uh, you get some great stuff if you subscribe to it there. And yeah.